I'm Lorraine Herring and this is part one of a two-part video on the shaking practice which is the second part of the writing warrior practice that I outline in my book The Writing Warrior um, and uh, you're gonna see in the second half um, my husband who was kindly roped into demonstrating the shaking um, is gonna gonna give you a real quick run through um, while I'm talking um, about kind of what the shaking looks like uh, people tend to make this more complicated than it actually is. It's, uh, it's just exactly what it sounds. You move into your body and you start to shake it. There's really no wrong way to shake it. Um, don't worry about what you look like. Nobody's watching you. Um, don't pay any attention to anything else around you. You're just moving inward and, and shaking things up. You're stirring the pot. You're stirring the pot internally. Your shaking is originating from your belly. It's moving through your organs. It's moving through your joints. Um, you're also getting a little bit of a workout um, and it's a, it's just a really wonderful quick way to do a great check-in kind of a great uh, uh, an energetic flush if you will for the body um, this is something that I, I encounter an awful lot of resistance about from students when I go teach this to people um, they don't want to do it that sounds stupid it's all the kinds of stuff and then we'll do it and they still won't like it but they'll write afterwards and then they'll start to notice that the writing has shifted. Then we'll go to shake again. And they're like, oh, it's a little different. Kind of like it. Mm. What you're going to notice over time is that your shaking is different every day. Some days you're going to be itchy. Some days you're going to be cranky. Some days it's going to feel great. It's going to be like taking that perfect shower at that perfect time. Um, you're going to start to miss it when you don't do it. Um, I never thought that would happen, but it, it does. Um, so there's all kinds of benefits to the shaking practice. It's very simple. It's a way of uh, doing an internal meditation. Uh, it's a way of being vigorous and just letting everything go. Um, it's a way of checking in with the self and noticing where there's places of tightness, where there's places of stagnation. Um, and it's really a wonderful clearinghouse for the body. Um, and I really, really encourage you, especially if you're resisting trying this, just give it a shot, give it a chance. Um, nobody's watching you, I promise. I I promise, I promise, I promise. Um, and and if anyone is watching you, then they don't get to say anything about it. Because um, the way a body looks when it shakes is a pretty personal one to me. So when we'll right. practice this in one of my classes, everyone will go off to different corners of the room, um, find their own space, and um, not face anyone. And that's really you know important in the beginning so that people don't feel self-conscious and you don't feel like your energy is being taken away by other people's movements. Um, but if you're by yourself in your house, you don't have to worry about any of that. Just find a place where you're not going to kick anything and, um, and get yourself ready to, to really move. Um, you can keep your eyes closed. That's a more internal experience. But if you're afraid, especially in the beginning, that you might trip or, or lose your equilibrium, you know, go ahead and keep your eyes open, but keep the gaze soft. Um, try not to focus on anything. Just, just use your eyes as part of the way you're stabilizing yourself. Um, there's nothing to look at. The experience is internal. Um, so give it a shot. Watch Keith. Um, we're going through it again really quickly. This can be a 20, 30, 45 minute practice, I kid you not. Um, spending many, many minutes on each part of the body, um, extra time where you feel you need, um, you need extra time. Uh, it helps you to really tune in to what's happening for you um, and not rely on someone else to fix you, which is something I think is really important. I think we have a lot of tools, if, if not all the tools um, that we need to, to help ourselves. Um, if we'll just pay attention and a lot of that wisdom comes from the body and uh, I encourage you to to experiment and be don't be afraid to be silly don't be afraid to make noise don't be afraid to really let it all kind of hang out as it were um, and uh, and watch Keith and enjoy and if you have any questions about the shaking practice feel free to email me about those um, my email address is r-a-n-e-y-85302 at yahoo.com. That's R-A-N-E-Y 85302 at yahoo.com. Um, but do give it a shot. Give yourself at least 10 days before you decide it's not working for you. Um, first time isn't the time. Uh, let yourself work through that discomfort. Let yourself work through the feelings of self-consciousness that might come up, the silliness. All that's really teaching you something. Um, and I know it can be hard if there's no one there directing you. Um, so let me be the director for you. Let me, you know, Lorraine says we're going to shake today. We're going to shake today. Um, and, uh, and have a good time. And then you'll start to notice um, some changes, I guarantee you, in your body, in your breath, and in your writing. Because um, you're washing it away. And it can't help but show up 
in every area of your life.